Innovation and Design Thinking IDT VTU Design Thinking for Strategic Innovations Business Challenge Maintaining Relevance Design Thinking Solution Value Redefinition Business Challenge 4 Maintaining Relevance All brands need to establish visibility, purpose, meaning, and credibility to be considered relevant in a category. Through innovation, an organization can elevate itself above its competitors and render them largely irrelevant to consumers. This is quite different from brand preference. Relevance is felt deeper and can create a clear divide between brands. Innovating in a wide space category or subcategory is imperative for market success today. In virtually all categories, from beverages to computers to financial services to air travel, marketing and product improvements rarely affect the sales or profits of a brand because of habitual consumer behavior. Meaningful changes in sales almost always relate to an offering that is created through substantial or transformational innovation. The expectations of consumers are rising at the same time that many brands are becoming more resourceful and savvy at gaining attention and tailoring their unique selling propositions and reasons to believe to fit the market. But customers are becoming more demanding of companies to stay relevant to their ever-changing lifestyles. Relevance is extremely difficult to maintain long term. Over time, brands must rethink and redefine the value that they bring to consumers. It's getting tougher to lock in on value propositions that will truly satisfy. Value redefinition is a design approach that helps develop a new voice and meaning that will not only resonate with consumers but also sideswipe the competition. Design Thinking Solution Value Redefinition Design thinking seeks relevance by promoting harmony with the identities, aspirations, attitudes, beliefs, needs, and desires that shape the ways people perceive and define value. It recognizes that individual perceptions and interpretations of value are constantly in flux and therefore aims to identify the underlying forces influencing this change. It aspires to develop greater empathy among people, brands, and business by observing, engaging with, and listening closely to people. To do this, the focus must be on establishing, framing, and stimulating the right conversations that will power up real insights that help businesses redefine value and maintain their relevance in the face of change. The design thinking approach to redefining value begins with people, not products. It seeks to locate the functional, emotional, social, and cultural values that already exist within or can be designed into a brand's DNA and align those with the current and emerging values of consumers. There are many ways to identify and interpret the shifting and relative nature of value. On the brand side of the equation, being honest and authentic is the best policy. Let's face it, brand teams are so immersed in their daily challenges and their particular brand culture that they fail to see the forest for the trees. According to Warren Buffett, Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. Having oversubscribed to the mythology of their brand, few of them are ready, willing, and able to admit what they can't admit, the soda is not refreshing, the detergent is pumping toxins into the water, the mobile phone is clunky, the service sucks, it's not really about convenience, and you are nothing but a me-too innovation organization. On the consumer side of the equation, rigorous and empathetic human-centric research is the best practice. It's simple really, and we will get to it shortly. You will never truly understand how people define value of products and services through online surveys, consumer panels, and focus groups. There is a complex and dynamic suite of factors that combine to influence our notion of value. 
we associate value with the satisfaction or fulfillment of a need. That is, value is associated with a product, service, system, artifact, or relationship that provides a means to a desired end. From another perspective, value is linked to actualization. Something is valuable when it serves a meaningful purpose and provides a benefit that equals or outweighs its cost. This perception of value is shaped by factors such as personal experience, needs, wants, desires, and expectations. In addition, inherited social cultural norms and the sheer force of fitting in socially influence our notion of values. But many of these inherited norms are more fluid today than ever before, constantly being shaped and reshaped by new information, ideas, relationships, and opinions that challenge definitions of value. In setting out to manage customer value, you may grapple first with the concept of how customers perceive value and how they are influenced by marketing or preconception or how technology or emerging behavior trends are shaping how value is defined and delivered. Customer value is at the core of any competitive strategy and is often least managed, often resulting in individual marketing, brand, product development, and pricing decisions being made rather than a conscious strategic and design exercise being undertaken. Here is a starting point to clarify how customers perceive and define the value of your brand or business. 1. Identify the functional, social, cultural, and historical reasons that have driven value for your brand, product, or business. How has it been meaningful before and why? Now, compare that to today and identify the drivers and intensity of those changes. To determine how your key customers rate you versus competitors on these value drivers. Represent these value drivers through visual mapping to illustrate the differences between key segments. 3. Define and articulate each of these value drivers in the context of the users. 4. Identify the rate of change on each of these dimensions and look for signals to confirm which ones are slowing down and which ones are accelerating. 5. Conduct a workshop to identify opportunities to redefine value ahead of the game on those dimensions that have the largest gap between how they are being served and what their needs are. 6. Design and conduct a participative design session in which you invite customers to talk about these dimensions to validate your assumptions and allow them to co-create new value combinations. 7. Analyze the results and conduct a value mapping workshop to explore how to redefine value to change the competitive landscape. The success of IKEA, Netflix, Zipcar, Nintendo, Amazon.com, Salesforce.com, Zappos, and EasyJet are all classic examples of companies that have been successful in redefining customer value to change the game. Thinking Points What is our current understanding of customer value? Have the top three attributes valued by customers been validated recently? Which of them are still relevant and which ones are definitely not? consider the following non-exhaustive attributes when thinking about customer value. How can you solve my problem quickly? Value is based on the simplest, cheapest, and most effective ways to solve a customer problem or complete a job. Focus on those three that will help you to secure a strong position. How can you solve my problem the way I want it? Value is based on a high degree of personalized preferences and is not a one-solution-fits-all scenario. Focus on customers and helping customers see that their problem and your solution are somewhat unique and that you are ready to tackle any kind of problem within a certain domain. How can you solve my problem anytime, anyplace? Value here is defined by your high degree of readiness and accessibility and even the customer is expecting to pay for the extra cost. Focus on the service, reliability, 
and experience and define your market based on how availability is important for those segments. How can you solve a problem for me that I don't want to know about? Value here is defined by how you can eliminate some of your customer's problems with as little involvement as possible from the customer. Focus on how you can help them handle those parts of the tasks that most people would rather not have to deal with or even hear about. How can you solve a problem that I don't even know I have? Value here is driven by your supreme leadership in any domain. Your customer will believe whatever you communicate and will trust that you are thinking ahead and can anticipate problems throughout a job. Thanks for watching. Comment for any suggestions. Like, share and subscribe for more videos.